Today, we're diving deep into one of the most powerful, versatile, and environmentally friendly tools you can have in your garden arsenal, hydrogen peroxide. Now, I'm sure you've used it to disinfect cuts and scrapes, but did you know it's also a secret weapon for getting rid of garden pests? Stick around because we're going to explore all the ways you can use hydrogen peroxide to protect your plants, from fighting fungi to repelling insects and even disinfecting tools. Let's get started. Before we jump into the how-tos, let's get a quick understanding of what hydrogen peroxide is and why it's so effective in the garden. It's a clear liquid that's slightly more viscous than water, and you typically find it in stores at a 3% concentration, which is perfect for household and garden use. So why is it so useful? Hydrogen peroxide is a powerful oxidizer, meaning it breaks down the cell walls of bacteria, fungi, and pests. This makes it a potent disinfectant, fungicide, and pesticide all rolled into one. Plus, when hydrogen peroxide breaks down, it turns into water and oxygen, making it safe for the environment, your plants, and even the beneficial insects in your garden. Now that we know what we're dealing with, let's talk about how you can use it in your garden to tackle different kinds of pests. One of the most common issues gardeners face is fungal infections. Whether it's powdery mildew, root rot, or mold, these fungi can wreak havoc on your plants. But don't worry, hydrogen peroxide's here to save the day. 1. Treating powdery mildew. Powdery mildew is that white, powdery substance that often appears on leaves, especially in humid conditions. It can weaken your plants and stunt their growth if left untreated. To combat this, mix one part hydrogen peroxide to nine parts water in a spray bottle. Spray this solution directly onto the affected leaves, making sure to cover both the tops and undersides. The hydrogen peroxide will oxidize the mildew, effectively killing it without harming your plants. Repeat this treatment every few days until the mildew is gone. 2. Battling Root Rot Root rot is caused by overwatering or poorly drained soil, leading to the growth of harmful fungi in the soil that attack plant roots. To treat root rot, mix one part hydrogen peroxide with two parts water and water your plants with this solution once a week. The hydrogen peroxide will help to oxygenate the soil and kill off the harmful fungi, giving your plants a chance to recover. 3. Preventing and Treating Mold Mold can form on the soil surface, especially in damp conditions. If you notice mold growing, mix a solution of one teaspoon hydrogen peroxide in one cup of water and spray it onto the soil. This will help to kill the mold and prevent it from spreading to your plants. This method is especially useful for protecting seedlings, which are particularly vulnerable to mold. Insects can be one of the most frustrating garden pests, but hydrogen peroxide can help you keep them under control as well. Let's talk about how to use it against some of the most common garden pests. 1. Aphids Aphids are tiny insects that suck the sap from your plants, weakening them and sometimes spreading disease. To get rid of aphids, mix a solution of one part hydrogen peroxide to five parts water. Spray this mixture directly onto the aphids, focusing on the undersides of leaves where they like to hide. The hydrogen peroxide will kill the aphids on contact. Repeat every few days until the infestation is gone. 2. Spider Mites Spider mites are another common pest that can cause significant damage to your plants, especially in hot, dry conditions. These tiny creatures can be hard to see, but the damage they cause, yellowing leaves, fine webbing, is unmistakable. Mix one part hydrogen peroxide with eight parts water and spray it onto the affected plants. This will disrupt the mites' ability to survive and help reduce their numbers. Be sure to apply this treatment every few days until you've completely gotten rid of them. 3. Caterpillars and Larva Caterpillars can chew through leaves, causing significant damage to your plants. For these pests, you can use a stronger solution, one part hydrogen peroxide to three parts water. Spray this solution directly onto the caterpillars and larva. The hydrogen peroxide will break down their outer layers, effectively killing them. Be cautious with this solution to avoid harming the plants themselves. Sometimes, pests aren't just on your plants, they're in the soil, too. Let's take a look at how hydrogen peroxide can help you treat soil infestations. 1. Soil Gnats 
Soil gnats or fungus gnats are tiny flies that lay their eggs in moist soil. Their larvae can damage roots, leading to stunted plant growth. To get rid of soil gnats, mix one part hydrogen peroxide with four parts water and water your plants with this solution. This will kill the larvae in the soil without harming your plants. Repeat this treatment weekly until the gnats are gone. 2. Nematodes Nematodes are microscopic worms that can be either beneficial or harmful to plants. If you have harmful nematodes, hydrogen peroxide can help control them. Mix one part hydrogen peroxide with two parts water and thoroughly soak the soil around your plants. The hydrogen peroxide will help reduce the nematode population by killing them without harming your plants or beneficial nematodes. 3. General Soil Health even if you don't have a specific pest problem, hydrogen peroxide can be used to improve soil health. It adds oxygen to the soil, which can benefit plant roots and reduce the risk of disease. Mix one part hydrogen peroxide with three parts water and use this as a soil drench every few weeks. This will help keep your soil healthy and your plants thriving. Hydrogen peroxide isn't just great for dealing with pests, it's also fantastic for keeping your garden tools and containers clean and disease-free. 1. Disinfecting Garden Tools Dirty tools can spread diseases from plant to plant, which can be especially problematic if you've been dealing with fungal infections. After each use, wipe your tools down with undiluted hydrogen peroxide to kill any lingering bacteria or fungi. This simple step can go a long way in preventing the spread of diseases in your garden. 2. Sterilizing Pots and Containers If you're reusing pots and containers, especially if they've previously housed diseased plants, it's important to sterilize them before planting again. Mix one part hydrogen peroxide with two parts water and scrub down your pots with this solution. This will kill any pathogens and ensure a clean environment for your new plants. 3. Seed Treatment to give your seeds a healthy start, you can soak them in a solution of hydrogen peroxide before planting. Mix one teaspoon of hydrogen peroxide in one cup of water and soak the seeds for 15 to 30 minutes. This will kill any pathogens on the seed surface, reducing the risk of disease once they're planted. While hydrogen peroxide is a fantastic tool for the garden, it's important to use it correctly to avoid any unintended damage. Here are some precautions and best practices to keep in mind. 1. Avoid overuse. While hydrogen peroxide can be beneficial, too much of it can harm your plants by killing beneficial microbes in the soil. Stick to the recommended dilutions and only use it as often as necessary. 2. Test before applying. Before spraying hydrogen peroxide on an entire plant, test a small area first to ensure the plant isn't sensitive to the solution. This is especially important for more delicate plants. 3. Use fresh solutions. Hydrogen peroxide breaks down into water and oxygen over time, which means it loses its effectiveness. Always mix fresh solutions before use to ensure you're getting the full benefit. Now that you know how to use hydrogen peroxide to tackle pests in your garden, Let's talk about how you can integrate it into a broader, long-term pest management strategy. 1. Regular monitoring The key to effective pest control is catching problems early. Regularly inspect your plants for signs of pests, disease, or stress. The sooner you spot an issue, the easier it'll be to treat it. 2. Integrated pest management Hydrogen peroxide is a great tool, but it's most effective when used as part of an integrated pest management approach. This means using a combination of biological, physical, and chemical methods to control pests. For example, you might introduce beneficial insects to your garden, use physical barriers like row covers, and apply hydrogen peroxide as needed. 3. Soil Health Healthy soil is the foundation of a healthy garden. Regularly amend your soil with compost and other organic matter to improve its structure and nutrient content. Healthy soil is more resistant to pests and diseases, reducing the need for treatments like hydrogen peroxide. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to Natural Health Remedies, and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy our next video on how to get rid of pests with baking soda. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.